I'm back. Hello boys and girls, today I have a treat for you. You will learn how to code your own web scraper within minutes. The possibilities of this web scraper are endless and here are some examples of what applications you can create afterwards. A stock market bot, price comparison app, real estate analysis app, a social media bot, and much more. But before we start, I would like to thank you, the viewer. You guys make my day when you leave a comment and engage in the Discord. Thank you. Hello. All right, so we're here at the desktop and I will show you guys exactly what you will have in the end of this tutorial. So this is the application and when I press play here, it opens up a Chrome tab and within the application it stores all of the movies of the top 250 movies list over at IMDb. So if we scroll up here, we can see the Shawshank Redemption 1994 and the rating is 9.3. If we take a look at the Chrome tab, we can see first place Shawshank Redemption 1994 and the rating is 9.3 so this is a very easy project to replicate and i hope you guys will like it all right let's create that application i have the microsoft visual studio create a new project app open if you haven't install all of the c sharp development modules from the Visual Studio Installer and then click on or create a new project. It will be the C Sharp console app. The project name, let's call it Scraper for simplicity. Go next and for the framework, I'll choose, I'll take the .NET 6.0 long-term support framework. I think it's the latest one. I don't know. And I, I don't think I care either. So we have the program in front of us. We have some uh, commented out things here. Let's remove that. And we have a console bright line here. It says hello world. Let's uh, instead of hello world, we'll write the text of our scraper. Let's just add a dollar sign because it's cool. And movie scraper it will scrape the movies and a new line at the end so now we have a text but we want to scrape some movies and let's take a look or now nah, we can take a look at the website after we have added the, the NuGet package so go down to project then manage NuGet packages Go on to browse, search Selenium. And here you will install the web driver and the support for ev everything to work perfectly. I don't think we use the support this early, but if you're going to continue and creating larger applications and so on it's better to just be on the safe side and add this as well so we have added the packages to our application and now we need to include them so open qa.selenium and then we can just copy paste that and .chrome. and i think that's it for the moment so we have the new get packages and now let's take a look at um, the IMDB page so I'll create a new tab that here we have 
the top 250 movies. We have Shawshank Redemption, The Godfather, and so on. I really like the Shawshank Redemption. It's nice to see that it's that highly rated. So on this page, the way to locate these elements can be done by going to inspect element and here we can inspect all of these objects so this is inspected on the text but if you move upwards it should show you the whole list and if you go down or into one object it should show each each and every element is in within this list so you can see our IPC metadata list and here are the items as you can see here so uh, if we wanted to iterate through all of these items we could just find all of the elements that has this class name so class equals so on so let's keep that in mind now when we continue and code up our application so here we have the have the script program let's uh, create a new chrome options variable these are uh, these handle arguments and so on for the web driver once you initiate it so you don't need to pay too much attention to this if you don't want to make changes which I will not and we will create a new web driver and we will assign it the options variable so now we have our Chrome driver here it will display some some things to the console so let's just clear it so it looks neat and move this right line of the web clear the, the console otherwise it would display before and after we have initialized the chrome driver and so on let's navigate to our website so driver dot navigate go to go to URL and it takes in the string URL so let's copy that paste it within the quotes and then we can select all of the elements which have the class name that we found out so driver dot find elements then by class name and now we need the class to find so we saw that they had this first class the IPC metadata list summary item let's take that and paste it here This will collect all of the elements and when we have all of these elements we can create a for loop or for each loop we can write or we can find out attributes of this item and write them out create objects and so on whatever you want so let's uh, let's write out the title make it easy so the title is located at this IPC title class and under the a tag we can see there is an h3 tag that has the text of the Sean Frank redemption you can also find it by just highlighting the text and choosing 
inspect element and it should take you to the exact location so let's take that cl that class now and within our scraper we will create a new variable let's call it uh, title and it will equal to element dot find another element so it's find an element within the element and we as before we will use by class name class name and here it's important to use the dot text afterwards otherwise it will just collect collect the element let's test our application now and write out the title so if everything worked as intended we should write out the correct information so let's take a look here what we saw it opened the chrome and it beautifully wrote out all of the movies on the website Shawshank Redemption The Godfather Dark Knight Godfather Part 2 Angry Man Schindler's List Lord of the Rings you can see that all of these movies correspond so you have now within minutes just created your first web scraper it was easy wasn't it